Hi again, Scott from Fifth Wheelers in Ballarat. Today's topic is air brakes. If you want to tow a large trailer, fifth wheeler or plant trailer with a hydraulic brake car like the F truck or a Chevy or Iveco, you're going to need an air brake kit. We can install one here in Ballarat or I can just send a kit out to you if you want to do it DIY. I'll show you about the kit here. At the heart of the kit's this uh, high recovery 12 volt compressor. We've got an air tank that mounts on the chassis. There's ports in the side where all these fittings go in. There's a uh, half inch nylon hose that runs around everywhere underneath the truck. There's a reaction valve that has hydraulic signal going to these two ports and controlled blue air, so the air that works your brakes in the blue line in here and out there when you work the brake pedal in your car. There's a schematic if you want to do your own install and there's these two fittings that go on the back of your ute. So around here on the back of the ute, we've got the blue and the red fitting and the blue control line comes off. This runs your maxi brake, that's the red fitting. So that's what we do at the back of the car. If we go up the front now, I'll show you the gauge we put in the cabin. So in the cabin, we just chose here in this F250 to put it in that place. In the nice new Forge, we put it down in the kicker. Uh, there's also a buzzer in there for low air pressure. So if you're around here at about 60 or 80 PSI, the buzzer comes on and it cuts out at 120. So when the ignition's on, the compressor's running the pressure in the tank up. When it gets to its um, set pressure, the 12 volt compressor turns off. Uh, interlock to the handbrake is the maxi brake on the trailer, so it wastes the air out of the truck and the red line going to the trailer. And then when we put it back down like that, it charges the trailer for, for driving off. So under here on the chassis, we've mounted up the tank We've mounted the compressor, and I spoke before about the hydraulic reaction valve, so that's mounted here. There's two braided lines that come down from the master cylinder. I'll show you the hook in there later. And that controls the hydraulic piston in the reaction valve, and that allows the air to flow. There's a solenoid as well, similar to this 12 volt solenoid that dumps the air when the ignition's turned off or the handbrake's applied. I'll just show you up in the So under the bonnet area, we've teed into the, the um, master cylinder. So both ports here, we've put in some brass T pieces and we've had a, a local hydraulic supplier run some braided lines down to the reaction valve. If we can't do that, we've got to tee into the, uh, the line somewhere and then bleed all the brakes. So it's quite an involved process. So if you want to tow a heavy trailer over four and a half tonne with a regularly braked a vehicle like this one, we can set you up with an air kit, we can do the whole job for you, or we can send an air kit out to you. Thanks.